Energy prices are at their highest level and rising. Petrol and diesel are at their highest level and rising. The UK currently has the highest rate of inflation for 40 years, which is still rising and has resulted in a cost of living crisis. All these increases are piling pressure on organisations, and the last thing anyone needs is yet another compliance obligation, right? Wrong. The Energy Savings Opportunity Scheme is here and is just the opportunity your organisation needs to cut energy use and save money, enabling you to navigate the tricky economic conditions ahead. What is ESOS and are you legally obliged to comply? ESOS, the Energy Savings Opportunity Scheme, is a mandatory energy assessment scheme introduced by the UK government to ensure large businesses, charities or other organisations are reducing their emissions from energy sources. Eligible organisations must meet one of the following criteria. More than 250 employees. Turnover of 44 million and annual balance sheet total of 38 million. Overseas organisation with 250 employees based in the UK. An organisation that is part of a larger organisation which falls into any of the above categories. If you meet one of these criteria, you are legally obliged to comply with ESOS. Even if you are not eligible, you can still voluntarily comply. How do you comply with ESOS? Eligible organisations must carry out an energy assessment every four years. These audits include the energy used by your buildings, industrial processes and transport. They will identify cost-effective energy-saving measures. All ESOS assessments must be verified by a registered lead ESOS assessor and signed off by a director or board member in your organisation before being submitted to the Environment Agency by the deadline of the 5th of December 2023. The energy assessment will quantify your organisation's energy consumption over a 12-month period which includes the 31st of December 2022. On-site energy audits will be required for a sample of your organisation's buildings, as well as your fleet and processes, if they account for a significant proportion of your energy consumption. These will enable relevant, cost-effective energy savings to be identified. During ESOS Phase 2, Sustainable Footprints identified over 75 million kilowatt hours of energy savings, worth over £10 million for organisations across all sectors. ISO 50001 If you have an ISO 50001 energy management system which covers all your sites and operations and is certified by a UCAS accredited certification body, you do not need to conduct an ESOS energy audit or have it signed off by a lead ESOS assessor but you still need to confirm your compliance with the Environment Agency by the 5th of December 2023 deadline. If your certified ISO 50001 Energy Management System does not cover all your sites and operations, you will need to conduct an ESOS energy audit on those that are not covered by your ISO and engage the services of a lead ESOS assessor. Display energy certificates can be used as a route to compliance if it accounts for more than 90% of your organisation's energy consumption. However, the government will not accept DECs as a route to compliance for ESOS Phase 4 and are strongly advising that they are not used for ESOS Phase 3. What happens if I don't comply or miss the deadline? If you fail to comply with the ESOS requirements, the Environment Agency may issue fines of up to £90,000. This will also be publicly disclosed, which may cause reputational damage to your business. However, the biggest penalty of not complying is continuing to waste energy and money that you could be saving. How can Sustainable Footprints help? Conducting an energy audit can be a complicated process, but Sustainable Footprints, who are registered lead ESOS assessors, will take the stress and pressure away. We are not interested in just ticking a compliance box when it comes to ESOS. We are passionate about helping organisations identify affordable, realistic and relevant energy and cost savings. Our team of buildings, process and fleet auditors are experienced in working with organisations across all sectors, including manufacturing, aviation, distribution, logistics, charities and administration to name but a few. We will identify the most appropriate and experienced consultant for your organisation to ensure energy and cost saving recommendations are as relevant to your business as possible. ESOS Phase 3 is here, so don't miss out on your chance to save. Our auditors get booked up quickly, so don't delay and contact Sustainable Footprints today. Info at sustainablefootprints.co.uk or 0144 35 to find out how we can help you identify relevant, achievable and affordable energy and cost savings while meeting your ESOS compliance obligations. Save energy, save money, 
being ASOS compliant.